All right, so this video is a basic upper body, lower body, full body kind of care routine. You're watching the mobility circuits and I just did the shoulder corkscrews and these are the German arm swings. So the way this is done is that every single movement is done one after the other as you are seeing displayed here. No break in between. You wanna do 10 reps of each and every single movement. So for the German arm swings and those and the corkscrews, you are pretty much going uh, left and right, which counts as one rep. For the squat flow here, you are going back and forth. Every time you come up, that's one rep for your squat. This whole entire sequence of movements is designed to really, really open up your hips, thoracic spine, um, work on your internal rotation of your hips, your external rotation of your hips, um, because nowadays everyone's always sitting so much this is kind of a very very quick and easy thing that you have to do and this isn't a workout although you might get a little bit of a sweat it isn't it isn't to be treated to pure exhaustion now you can go really really fast and kind of increase the intensity um, but again this is a basic mobility circuit so these are hip swivels left and right left and right and every time you go left and right, it equals one rep. You notice on how one thing kind of just easily goes into another. Hip and spine opener, left and right, will be one rep. Just remember this. Preferably, you should also do this barefoot or with shoes that are extremely minimalism or minimalist to the ground, I should say. Uh, the boots that I have on are from Vivo Barefoot. That's an amazing brand to um, study up on what minimalism is or I should say minimalist sneakers, excuse me. And uh, they really, really support the feet and uh, strengthen your feet the way they should be. Now we have uh, downward dog to cobra. You do 10 reps of those. Make sure that your chin is tucked and that you untuck the chin as you are rolling through the whole entire movement. Don't rush it. And now this is also the rib roll rotation. You'll notice that I'm using my eyes to look up towards the sky. Now let's go on to shoulder dislocates. It's a very, very simple exercise to open up your, um, your shoulders, your chest muscles. Uh, it's, this is fantastic. Everybody deserves this. Everybody should do this. Now, if you wanted to intensify it, add 2.5 pounds to the bar and go right at it again. I know a couple of gymnasts that do this with uh, 45 pounds. Now we go into the final part of this mobility circuit and remember all of this is done one move after the other. We go into the pole hold. This will train your lower trapezius muscles. They are quite often neglected. So you want to hold for 30 seconds and then you want to flutter, do those small pulses for at least 30 reps. This could be quite excruciating. If it's too much, go for 15. Now we go into the weight portion of our training. As soon as you're done with the mobility circuit, you can go right into this circuit with basic weights. Reverse flies, you go at least anywhere from 5 to 15 pounds and go for 15 repetitions. The next one we're going to go for here are face pulls, another good one for uh, structural integrity, especially for, um, for baseball players uh, who are always kind of working on overhead. Now the face pull right here. Very simple, very smooth. You pull, get a nice little pause, don't rush it. 20 repetitions. 100 pounds maybe, 120, 140, wherever your level is, this is where you can go to. Everyone should be doing face pulls very, very often. They train your rear delts, your shoulders. It's just fantastic pulling movement. And then immediately followed after that, you go into the two arm dumbbell rows. And that's it. You go 15 repetitions here, pick a good weight. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Three sets total is all you need, rest of 30 seconds after.